Thank you. What's going on guys, Thunderbolt Toys here, and today I have for you a review of the Jumanji Pops. Now, this is technically the full line, since there's only two, if you look on the back. Pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and get started. I love Jumanji, and I'm really glad I have these. So, anyways, uh, Shelly, he's the, like, fat guy, you know played by Jack Black in real life uh, he's like a valley girl and then Smolder Blavestone Blavestone? and then Smolder Bravestone is played by The Rock in real life it's this um, super geeky kid but anyways I really like these two pops um, what they really need to make is a mouse fin bar like I really want to have a Kevin Hart pop in my collection. That would be great. Also, um, I feel like they could do a pop ride with the guys on the motorcycle. I forget what you call them. But anyways, let's get into it. So the way I was able to get these was actually the Easter Bunny. Technically, this one is the only one that's mine. This is a Smolder Bravestone. And then my brother's is Shelly Oberon. But yeah, the Easter Bunny bought us both of these. And then it brought my sister Max, but she already has that one. So, um, I'm probably gonna order an 11 with Egos and trade it for her, since she really wants that and she doesn't have it. But anyways, um, which one? Okay, Google, pick a number between 1 and 2. Alrighty, we're starting with Shelly. Yeah, here he is. Let's go ahead and crack him open. So, here's Shelly out of the packaging, and I have to say, I do really like it, you know. There's a couple of things about it that really bother me, but I'll get into that later. For right now, let's take a closer look. So, here's taking a closer look at Shelly. We've got the boots on the bottom with, like, some black treads. Then we've got cuffed pants, this belt, which looks pretty good, then we've got some nice detail on the shirt with a chain and everything, then his jacket, and we can see the beard, it looks a little weird like he has a mouth, you know, because of the beard, but Pops don't have mouths, I don't know, but it doesn't look that bad. So here are the glasses, there's a little bit of uh, dry brushing on them, I like that. And then we've got this strap tucked over his hat. And it's just this large bucket hat. I do like that, I think that's cool. So yeah, let me get into uh, what's really weird about this figure. As far as minor flaws go, there's this one little paint nick over here. But not really anything else. And then, what we get into here is you can see like... This yellow, weird, like, I don't even know what that is. It looks almost like it could be urine or something. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what that's from. But you can see it really well when it's in the box. I'll take a picture of that. Anyways, it's definitely not meant to look like that. I looked at a bunch of glams and yeah. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but... It doesn't bug me too much, you know? This is a cool one. It's nice to have. So, yeah. Um, now let's take a closer look at Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Here's The Rock inside the packaging. Let's go ahead and take him out. So, here he is. I think they captured the likeness really well. I like that. I like the, um... Angry eyebrows. That's really how they get the emotion across in pop. But yeah, out of the two, I definitely have to say that this one I like more. Partly because I'm a huge rock fan. But anyways, not WWE, just like acting and stuff. But to get a closer look, here we can see the boots. 
they have more of like a tread on them than uh, these green pants. Then he, he's got this like really cool detailed belt where it's like looping down. It's got the silver piece right here, then a real belt too, as well as like a holster on his leg. There actually is the handle of a knife sticking out of there. I don't know how well you can see, but it doesn't look too bad. Then um, here's his shirt. Got pockets on both sides, and uh, pretty uh, deep right there. So for scale, these are the only two remotely Jumanji related things I own. So I just have the usuals, our last review, which was the Chase Porg, and the Black Series Fin. Measure it out. Belly is almost, almost five inches, and then you know. Smolder Bravestone, he's about four. I've given up hope on Stashpedia, but last time I looked, they were both worth about ten. So, yeah, Cool. Nah. Yes, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment. You know what I mean. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.